Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Backstage Pass. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Edge of Tomorrow, a film that's garnered a dedicated fan base since its release in 2014, despite not being a huge box office hit. Directed by Doug Lehman and featuring standout performances from Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt, this inventive sci-fi action flick expertly plays with the time loop concept immersing viewers in a gripping narrative of survival against an alien onslaught. Now, while the film's ending is generally seen as uplifting, it's worth noting that the conclusion has stirred up some divisions among fans, with critiques pointing to its perceived confusion, an overly optimistic tone. But what if I told you that there was an alternate ending pitched by screenwriter Christopher McQuarrie that could have made everything far more complicated and darker? That's right! Edge of Tomorrow draws its inspiration from Hiroshi Sakurazaka's Japanese light novel, All You Need Is Kill. The story follows Major William Cage, played by Cruz, who finds himself thrown into the chaos of an alien war with absolutely no combat experience. After a fateful encounter with an alien called an Alpha, Cage gains the unique ability to reset each day whenever he dies, leading him into a relentless loop where he trains with Rita Vratasky, portrayed by Emily Blunt, to defeat the enemy. Through numerous attempts and growing emotional bonds, the stakes rise dramatically. In the final act of the film, Cage experiences a pivotal moment where the narrative culminates in a massive showdown against the mimics. The movie concludes with a reset that changes the dynamics of the characters' relationships, leaving viewers with a bittersweet note as Rita loses all memories of her time with Cage. It's a poignant ending, but McQuarrie's original vision was much darker, suggesting that the team would suffer significant setbacks due to the Omega's awareness of their plans. Imagine the tension! The team, already exhausted, faces an even greater threat, with their every move predicted by the enemy. McQuarrie noted that this twist could have turned the film into a lengthy ordeal straying from the delicate balance that defines great time loop narratives. Furthermore, shifting perspectives to a different character could have jarred audiences after spending so much time with Cage. Ultimately, McQuarrie decided against a bleak conclusion, emphasizing that amidst the war and chaos, the film should retain its lighter, comedic edge. He felt that a satisfying ending required an ounce of hope rather than despair recognizing the need for a resolution that, while bittersweet, left room for optimism. So while Edge of Tomorrow continues to thrill audiences with its action-packed sequences and clever storytelling, it's fascinating to think about how an alternate ending could have altered its legacy. If you haven't seen the film yet, it's currently available to stream on Netflix, so be sure to check it out. Thanks for tuning in to Backstage Pass. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts on the film's ending and Macquarie's pitch in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the world of cinema.